we were very fortunate this year to be uh, Regional Association of the Year for Ring Out Ontario. It's really um, a testament, this award, to the hard work that our board, our parents, our players have put into trying to keep a ringette as an option for children uh, in Muskoka. Um, ringette has been around since uh, the 1960s. It was developed in North Bay as an alternative for girls to play uh, ice sports on uh, the rink as an alternative to hockey. So ringette has been in Muskoka since the late 1990s. It was uh, originated in Bala, Ontario, and we're centered here now in Gravenhurst. And obviously our peers in Ringgit, Ontario have noticed the hard work that we've put in to our, our association over the last number of years. And up until this year, we didn't have enough kids to ice any teams. But last year, uh, through all the hard work from our, like I say, our parents and players and our board members and volunteers, we were able to put two uh, teams on the ice uh, this year. And we're hoping that this year we're gonna hopefully double that. So uh, our membership is open. Uh, you can go to westmuskokaroyals.com, or sorry, muskokaroyals.com, and uh, you can register to find out more about the sport of ringette. Um, COVID-19, uh, like for most sporting associations, has kind of put some um, uh, uh, restrictions in terms of um, um, you know, social distancing and things like that. So Ringette Ontario has put out some return to play guidelines. We're also working with the town of Gravenhurst um, to try and put some safety measures in place so that we can get kids back on the ice. So we are uh, anticipating to get back on the ice in September, late September. Uh, we are putting some things in place right now in terms of policy uh, and some guidelines to allow our kids to get back on the ice and safe uh, in a safe environment.